so welcome to the third part guys uh, so let's start in third part we are going to write the code for uh, displaying the data in this grid view from our database and when we click any one row in this grid view the selected row should appear in this text view so let's start first of all go to the code section of this program and then create one function like grid view inside this function first of all we need to connect our grid view to our database so copy this section of code from here and then paste inside this function and then we need to uh, execute the SQL query so I am going to use MySQL data adapter SDA is equal to new MySQL data adapter because uh, like uh, if you want to connect our mobile uh, into our pc and if you want to access the file of our mobile from our pc we need a uh, adapter like usb cable that takes the uh, adapter so in our uh, program if you want to access the data that is stored in mysql database uh, we need to use mysql data adapter in c sub so inside this parameter uh, the query goes over here SQL query like we need to display all the data so select all from table name our table name is refresh your connection from here our database name is project mysql project mysql so let me copy this and then connection and uh, we have a number of table in our database so I'm gonna use data table dt is equal to new data table and I'm gonna fill this table so sda dot fill there goes dt it means the fill method retype the row from the data source uh, using the SQL query that is this is the object of my SQL data adapter and here is the SQL query and there may be a multiple row in our database so we need to use any loop so I'm gonna use for loop for each loop data row item in dt dot roads let me a declare one variable that is to the number of row and tn is equal to data grid view one dot row dot add and 
now we need to display the data from uh, our database into this grid view into this grid view section so data grid view one dot row there may be a number of rows so let n and there is a cell in each row so dot value and each cell have value so it's equal to item here goes like roll number dot to string and each and everything in C sub need to be converted to a string so that is the thing this is the roof retype the data from our database and choose the only the rule number in our grid view so simply copy this section of code and then paste this is for name this is for address this is for phone number and finally this is for email so here goes name here goes address here goes phone and then finally email so simply copy this method or function from here and then you need to paste this function over the initialization section of this form so let's start run your program oh it should email in the roll number field we did some mistake over here let me check it oh i am so sorry i forget to change this index uh, that should be one and that should be two that should be three and that should be four it means index zero means this one index one means this one two three four respectively so now run your program all the data should be displayed in your database so let me check the database over here there you go there is this one only one data in our database so it display this data from our desk database so let me close this before closing this uh, when i select uh, this row only one cell is selected so we need to change some property of our data grid view so go back to your design and select this data grid view and go to the property from here and select the multi selection to true and selection mode to full row select so run this program there you go when you select click any one uh, cell whole row is selected so now we are gonna write the code that will display when i double click over here all this data should be displayed in this text view so go back to the design of your form select your data grid view and go to your event section from here click on event and scroll down and then find the mouse double click
mouse double click here is mouse double click so double click over here and one object is created so write the code for this one so let me uh, declare the variable and tn is equal to data grid view one dot selected row when you select the row selected row and each row have an index dot index and txt roll number dot text dot text in txt roll number dot text data should be displayed from here like roots there are number of roads so n number dot cell that should be um, many cell in one row so dot values dot to a string everything should be converted in a string in c sub so simply copy this section of code and then paste name address phone number final label so change this code to txt name it's to txt address this one to txt phone finally txt to email and change the index of the cell here goes one here goes two here goes three and then here goes four and start your program when you double click over here all the data should display over here so double click there you go Rollover display uh, in rollover section field. A name is display here. It is display here for number and finally the email. So that's it uh, in this video tutorial, guys. If you think this video help you in some extent, uh, please give thumbs up to this video tutorial and share this video with your friends so that they can know about this basic tutorial and stay connected to, with our channel in order to stay connected with our channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day